Hello and welcome to today's Twin Flame reading for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and your current union energy going on for you and your Twin Flame. So today I have um, Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield and I also have One Crystal Angels card by Doreen Virtue and um, yes. It's the end of the weekend. Twin Flames Universe just finished its sale, and I was kind of meditating on that because, um, yeah, like the prices of Twin Flame Ascension School and all the, all the wonderful things are, are going up. But that doesn't mean that like you're missing out because, um, it is an alive body of work, and so the more blocks that are cleared in consciousness, like. You, you keep receiving from it, so you actually like receive um, more than the value um, that you invest into it, which has always been true, but it's like even as it will increase in um, monetary value over time, you know, like the initial investment, uh, what you'll continue to receive <clears throat> every time you watch is... Um, is also going to increase. So I just think that's really cool. So anything that you create that's eternal is like that. So it's just something to consider. Are you living your life purpose? Are you working on your twin flame union um, like actively? Because that's something eternal and it's something that will expand. Um, and that's why it's worth, you know, worth it. So yeah and you know if you if you're not sure what i'm talking about you can check out the links below and explore them um but let's get started with the reading so let's start with the divine feminine today um okay fresh approach this to me very much speaks to virgo season and a refresh kind of like hitting that refresh button um yeah, allowing that newness, you know, that sense of uh, having gone to the next level. And don't discard, you know, what you've been putting your energy and attention into just because it's not, like, paying off yet in some way. Uh, it, you know, like, if you, if you can feel it, like, trust your feeling there like you know you just know when you're working on something like I was saying before something eternal and sometimes these things you know these eternal things take a little longer to manifest um, they don't have to necessarily but just you know like it it takes more t to manifest your twin flame union than it does to manifest a cup of coffee um, in a way you know and um, so it's okay and appropriate to just keep on feeling refreshed in this place where you are directing a lot of your energy. And it doesn't mean stop directing your energy there, but like, yeah, just continue that fresh approach in that place. Don't get stuck in the way you had planned to do something before or... Um, well, as I'm feeling into it, it's also like getting stuck into this idea that you aren't expanding just because you aren't seeing an outer result. Or maybe you are, but like whatever it is you're seeing on the outside, just allow the feeling within to continue to expand and to grow and don't like, don't limit yourself with what you think you're creating in that place, but like, you know, trust and surrender and keep, keep giving where you have momentum. Like if you've already built up momentum and it's easy, why would you put on the brakes unless like you're being clearly directed not to? But generally speaking, if, if you're having that flow there, it's because you're being directed to keep on, um, Keep on approaching this specific, you know, aspect of your union and or life purpose and continue to give and with that momentum, you naturally clear blocks too. You know, it's like um, how the stones are smoothed by the ocean over time. Like you, every time you're washing your energy over this one place, you're really carving it out. 
and you're um, you're not allowing any blocks or patterns to linger there and so you you're always kind of creating that fresh approach with your momentum so yeah that's a cool channeling there for that card let's move on to the divine masculine perfect setting very nice Feels also very like um, Virgo E, like really creating that nice environment for yourself, but it also certainly speaks to creativity because what need do you have for a perfect setting, you know, just to like sit around and do nothing? I mean, like, I'm not saying sitting around and doing nothing on the outside is bad. Sometimes you need to unwind, meditate, uh, whatever you like to do. But generally speaking, like you want a space that's conducive to you living your life and the more of your life purpose that you're able to just like be in the flow with, which means you're, you're, you're like always living your life purpose. So from the time you get up to the time you go to bed and even when you're asleep, it's like you have purpose in your life. And that means that you have purpose in your setting too and in your environment. And that when you create a space that gives back to you, you're able to be inspired and have a deeper relationship with the divine through that. So yeah, something for the divine masculine to both explore and go deeper with and really like, um, you know, it, it helps like, helps you tap into really desiring to create that with your twin flame too. And it's safe to have that desire and wherever you're at with it, you know, whether you're married and together and in harmonious union or uh, you're, you know, even don't know who your twin flame is, whatever the case may be, like there's just somewhere deeper to go in this place and it's safe to go there and it's safe to claim your desire for this perfect setting and to take action steps towards making it happen and Virgo seasons are a really good time to take those action steps because they're going to feel very natural and easy and like it's easy to also hone in on the details and sometimes the details aren't necessarily just the tiny tiny things they're also things that are kind of like they're not big or small you know they're just like the something that's a little bit more detail work that uh, really can have a huge impact on your life, you know, when you spend that extra time and care on that specific detail. So it's, um, it's very nice for clearing those kinds of blocks in your reality, creating a nice, beautiful space, and yeah, helping that creative flow too, right? Like, um, yeah, creative. Okay, so Crystal Angel card multifaceted. I feel like this card has been coming up a little bit often. Um, you know, not necessarily in the middle, but anyways, there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. And in this particular reading, I feel like this card is speaking to what I was saying about the detail work for the Divine Masculine and the fresh approach to, it's like a fresh approach to the same thing though that you're doing each time you're, you know, approaching it, <laughs> like constantly having a fresh approach. And this is, speaks to this like multifaceted layer kind of thing going on here where, yeah, it's like you're, you are, um, you're working through those details. You're working through those layers. And one way to do that is just to, just to do it, right? Like to look at the layers. Um, individually and also in like a way where you are able to see how they're organized in on a deeper level and um, yeah when you when you can really access that divine order to those layers of your uh, you know like of your feelings and your visions um, whatever is kind of coming up for you in the area of how you want to manifest something that's not fully manifested yet. Like I was saying, it could, you know, be something related to perfect setting, like related, for instance, to your home environment. Maybe you need to like clean out your car and like, I don't know, put an air plant in there, you know? But like, 
Whatever it could be, I mean, maybe that won't last because if you leave it in your car, if it's hot where your car is, I don't know, but, it, you know, maybe it will. So, um, but the point is, like, these kinds of details matter to you and the layers to you matter. Like, you're not just kind of like a slump of a person, right? Like, born to do one job, born to be with your other slump of a person, <laughs> twin flame um, kind of thing. It's, there's so much more than that. So just like keep it all in mind and keep it in check too. Like when stuff comes up, when a feeling comes up, don't like, don't cast it off to the side. You do have time and energy to address your feelings and you do have the time and energy to embrace your visions too, because it's in your denial to do that, that you're, you're just denying yourself and you're denying a part of your union and um, God doesn't want that for you. So sometimes like you'll see contrast when you do that after a little bit and um, That's just really to guide you back in the right direction You know when you've had enough of that contrast, but you don't have to experience contrast in order to go in the right direction and either way it it's like you're gonna you're gonna ultimately like be guided back towards what's in your highest good so um, yeah, it's best to really just love yourself and be compassionate and to approach this like, you know, layered place um, with all of that love and ready to give yourself all of the love, really like always. So yeah, last card of the reading, got a little stone there. Contemplation. It's a nice card to end on. It's very peaceful. It's like, okay, so you have these action steps, ladies and gents, and uh, uh, yeah, well, so anyways, like you're, now it's time to, um, for you to just uh, feel into like, what does this reading mean to me? Like, what does Virgo season mean? Um, what are my next steps and like what am I really willing to do to commit to myself to commit to my spiritual journey do I do I believe that I can completely ascend do I actually believe that because that is a big part of making your journey a lot easier is actually like realizing like oh yeah this is this is for me too this is possible and there is a way to do this and it actually feels good and i don't need to leave the planet or give up you know um like money you know like i don't need to give up living the lifestyle i want to live at all that's not what it's about for you um to live your highest life and you know, to ascend with your union, with your twin flame in union, in perfect union, is just about being with God. And so sometimes contemplating or like meditating is a really nice way to tap into that and to like, you know, you're, it's kind of beyond asking what your next step is. It's just being with God there and then allowing the thing, the things that need to happen to come to you in one form or another. I mean, do you ever notice that you just kind of will suddenly start doing something and you just keep doing it for, uh, you know, a few minutes or a few hours or a few days and it's like, oh, I just, I just did this thing that was like, I was called to do, I didn't exactly know why, but now, I don't know, like my house is all clean or I built a, I built a storage shed and now I can like live the carpentry life of my dreams. Um, because I have all of my tools put together. <laughs> um, yeah, that's definitely not my personal dream, but it's a good example. Um, so, yeah. Contemplation does serve a, a purpose, and that's part of Virgo season two, is balancing that and uh, having maturity there. It's not always just about taking outward action. You can't just, like, always be, like, doing, doing, like when you give, it's like an, it's like breathing in and out. You don't just breathe in and you don't just breathe out. And so this is like, you know, that, that relaxing and, um, 
allowing then that momentum to increase so that you have the fresh approach and you can do the perfect setting um, and um, go through those layers, you know, like just keep on fleshing them out. Um, yeah, smoothing them over kind of thing. So that's going to do it for today's reading. I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful start to your week. And all of my links are below if you're interested in working with me, readings, and all that jazz, and um, also the info I mentioned at the beginning, too. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, you know, and I'll see you again real soon. Love you. Bye.